Hello YouTube and welcome to another Proxmox tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to remove a Proxmox node from a Proxmox cluster without reinstalling it. Okay? So are you ready? Let's get started. So if you have seen my previous video I showed you how actually to construct a Proxmox cluster but with just two nodes. Okay? Because the recommended number of uh, nodes is actually three but we have just used two in order to actually build this cluster okay so here if you go to your data center here you go to cluster you can see here that the name of our cluster is prx cluster okay and it consists of two nodes proxmox01 which has an ip address that 201 and Proxmox 02 which has an IP address of 204 okay so here I am inside Proxmox 01 okay so you can see the two nodes okay and we can get the same information if we go to our actually not Proxmox 01 and we go to the shell we type the command pvecm status okay to get information about our cluster so we get the same information that we get from the GUI here we have of course here at the bottom our two nodes okay so here just for uh, education purposes this is Proxmox 01 which has dark mode and I opened also Proxmox 02 as you can see here which is in light mode okay so as I told you in this video, we'll try to remove this uh, Proxmox 02 actually from the cluster. We'll try simply to destroy the cluster, okay? So of course, the first resource that we have to take a look at is the Proxmox documentation. So here it is, and of course you will find the link on the description on this video, okay? So here they are showing the method to destroy the cluster but here they are talking if you have a normal cluster which consists of three nodes but as I told you we have just two nodes so how we can do that so there is another way here you can see separate a node without reinstall it so we're gonna use actually this method but you have to pay attention this is not the recommended method proceed with caution use the previous method if you are unsure okay but we can use it and try to remove or destroy our cluster okay so you will see it's uh, pretty easy you have just to follow the steps in order to destroy your cluster okay so first stop the crossing and the PVE cluster services on the node okay so we're gonna begin by executing these commands on the Proxmox 02 but it doesn't matter you can start also using the proxmox 01 if you want okay but here just uh, let's use proxmox 02 the second node in order to execute these commands okay so let's begin so we're gonna just copy and paste the command pretty easy on the shell of proxmox 02 so first we start or actually we stop the services here we go first one and second one okay so we follow the documentation here you can see that I cannot actually paste any more the commands so what we're gonna do we're gonna just hit some uh, enter here hopefully we get our command prompt again so let's stop the core sync now here we go so after that they said to start the cluster file system again in local mode so we're gonna use this command here we go paste it again okay what else they said you have to delete the Corasync configuration files so let's do that just copy and paste 
command here we go first command and second one okay okay so now we can start the file system again as a normal service so let's scale the service and start it again so we are still on second actually not here okay so here we go okay so let's actually refresh this page but after that you will notice here the data center on proxmox 02 is still showing the name of our cluster so let's refresh the page so reload it okay so now as you can see the name of the cluster has disappeared okay so we still have access to our proxmox 02 but we cannot see the proxmox 01 okay so now one last step to do in this proxmox 02 there is actually some repositories or some uh, folders on the directory slash etc slash pve slash nodes so it shows some configuration of the proxmox 01 and proxmox 02 and as we are actually on the Proxmox 02, we have to remove all the configuration for this Proxmox 01 node. So let's do that, remove minus RF, and we provide the full path to the Proxmox actually uh, 01. PVE nodes and Proxmox. 01 because we are in 02 here we go so now as you can see i have only the rep the directory for proxmox 02 so we are done now with the proxmox 02 here we go so now we cannot even see the proxmox 01 we just see the proxmox 02 here okay so now we have finished with this Proxmox 02, we have to do the same steps on Proxmox 01. So let's go back to Proxmox 01 and do the same steps, okay? So I will begin by stopping the services that we have actually done on Proxmox 02, PVE cluster service. Here we go, so let's stop also the Corasync service. Okay, after that we start the cluster file system again in local mode. After that we remove the configuration files for the Corasync config. Okay. So you can see the process is pretty simple. You just have to follow the steps on the documentation. And let's start this PVE cluster service. So here we reach the final uh, actually steps. Here we can still see the Proxmo 02 nodes. So as we have done on Proxmox 02 inside this uh, PVE directory. So now we are on Proxmox 01, so we have to uh, delete the folder Proxmox 02. So 
let's do that using the command remove minus rf and here we have to specify the proxmox 02 here we go so it needs now refresh the page and hopefully as you can see here we have only our proxmox 01 and we don't have actually a cluster anymore okay and let's verify that if you go to our data center here and if you go to the cluster you can see that I have actually destroyed our cluster here so we have successfully followed all steps in order to remove the cluster and we have actually our virtual machine and the LXC container are still running, uh, still running there is no problem with that okay so you can see how easy it is to remove actually or destroy a cluster just executing this command in steps and you will get the result as easy as it is okay so that was just a brief video to show you how you can actually remove uh, or destroy actually a Proxmox cluster so if you found this video helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content and of course if you have any suggestion for future videos drop them in the comment below as always i hope it has been informative for you and i'd like to thank you for viewing bye bye